Hey everyone, I'm Len Wolston. I am a writer, blogger, and nerd, and thanks for checking out my channel today. I have a very, very fun topic to discuss. It's one that's true and dear to my heart, so I hope you enjoy. Today I wanted to share with you exactly what it is about video games that has helped my writing. And I know you're probably like, wait a second, video games helping your writing? How do the two go together? Well, I'm here today to show you exactly how this nerdy girl has put all those hours into video games for the benefit of my writing so that hopefully for all of you, my fellow nerds and gamers out there who also write, might see the benefit of all this time that you spend on your video games and not feel so bad about it. Number one is your main character. By playing video games, I was able to kind of just marinate on the thought of how important your main character is. Because when you pick a specific game to play, there usually will be kind of a variation on who you get to play as the main character. And with that, you also get to kind of create more of that character. I mean, some games have it where you can literally create from scratch just using a little bit of a template and make a character, but you get to pick exactly what they look like. You get to pick exactly what their strengths are. But what's really, really important and the thing that I incorporated into my writing is knowing that with whatever character you choose, there should be a purpose behind why that character is the one that you're playing or with writing. Why is that main character the one to tell their story to readers? So that was really crucial for me to like realize, hey, having that character that you decide to put in the front of the story really makes an impact. The other thing when it comes to video games and characters is the fact that there is always a balance. Now, whether or not it's an equal balance is kind of uh, up in the air, depending on what you're talking about. But what I was realizing that with all those strengths that my characters can have in game, there are also weaknesses. And that's something that I feel like a lot of times that writers forget that, especially when we're trying to write our hero characters, we want them to be strong, we want them to be courageous, we want them to be everything that we're not when it comes to saving the story or saving the person. But when it comes down to it, there has to be some weaknesses, there has to be something that ties them to not being able to be successful on the first try. And you'll see that in video games they do that where it's like you can have these talent points and you can spend them in one area for a character, but there's always kind of a downside to it. So you have to pick wisely. And again, it's about balancing your characters to show that yes, they can have all these strengths, but they also have these weaknesses because that makes them more relatable as a character. The second thing I learned about video games and writing is the fact that your setting matters. Where your story takes place has a huge influence on the outcome of the story. So for example, if you're set in space, either with a video game or as you're writing a book, there are some limitations because of that setting. The same goes for if you are doing a different time lapse, like maybe you're in the future, then you have to have a character that goes back in time. That's going to largely influence how your story is because the setting will change. Another thing to consider too is how might that setting influence the character's internalization. So maybe they are stuck in an environment where it's like they don't really want to be there, but what is going to propel them to change their situation? Is there an aspect of the setting that you're choosing that is going to influence that person? It's also a great way to kind of just show again how your character reacts to the world around them by spending that time developing the world that they're living in. So setting definitely is important for video games and for writing. The third thing I learned from video games when it comes to writing is the importance of POV or point of view. Now think about this for a second gamers. When it comes to the types of games that are available, 
usually you have third person versus first person. So third person would be like if you're playing World of Warcraft, Gears of War, Hitman, Fortnite, all of those where you're kind of just being able to see, you know, from like a bird's eye view what's going on versus like first person, like a lot of first person shooter games out there, like Doom for example, where it's literally you're seeing what the character sees. This is a huge decision you have to make as a writer because it really dictates what kind of story you're going to be able to tell. With having that third person, which I used to just like, that was all I ever wanted to write because it allows you to have this benefit of seeing everything involved with the story from like a very just over the top, almost omniscient kind of point of view because you're able to see exactly what's going on because you're seeing it so you're being very descriptive in how all the characters are interacting and the setting and the dialogue and everything. You're able to really go into detail because you're painting that picture for what it looks like. Versus first person, I have found that it's great in the sense of if you have a story where you're wanting to tell a character story and let the readers really experience and they get to feel like they are that character for a moment, that might be a better point of view for you to choose. All of it to say that when it comes to writing and video gaming, picking that point of view really dictates exactly what kind of story your readers are going to be able to experience and as a gamer, what kind of experience you want to have. Hang on one second, mana's getting low. Much better. The fourth thing that video games taught me about writing is the importance of practice. Practice, practice, practice. You're not gonna be good the first time that you play. You're not gonna be good the first time that you write. You're going to be the noob that everybody is laughing at at first because you're still trying to figure out what you're doing. And that's totally fine if you're running around like looking up and like running into walls in a game or when it comes to writing because it's all about practice. Practice in the writing craft is something that you just have to do over and over again. So there are going to be stories that you write that you really love, but then when you kind of reflect and you go into that editing phase, or even if you query and you're not getting the kind of results that you want, you're going to have to just suck it up and know that this is all practice. It's making sure that you are really devoting everything that you can to honing your craft and making your skills even more sharpened. And it's very similar to video games on how you start as a noob, but with practice and learning more about what it takes to kind of succeed in game is going to transform you from noob to pro. And we've all been there. So don't worry about if you're kind of new out there, either with video games or with writing, because yeah, we've all been that person that everybody's yelling at because we're kind of messing up everything that a good group is trying to do, or we're just really embarrassing ourselves because we don't know the controls yet. Number five is realizing that it is okay to take a break, but don't rage quit. Rage quit is kind of when you're playing a very intense game, like maybe somebody knows this game. <laughs> and you're like really, really focused on it and you're just getting to this point where you keep dying and you just want to give up and throw your controller and just be done. And the same goes for writing, friends. There are so many times that as a writer is trying to just write a book, the first book, the fifth book, or 20th book, where you're just gonna wanna just rage quit and say, that's it, I'm done, I'm not doing this again. It's time to just take a break then. It's the same thing like with video games, how if you just take, you know, five minutes to just go do something else, you'll calm down, you'll feel more relaxed, you'll have a clearer head, and then you can try again. So don't feel bad if you're in this moment where you're feeling like, God, I just wanna rage quit and I hate this. It's okay to take a break. And we all need that, we all experience that. And so if you're feeling like, kind of guilty because you can realize that, but then like saying, I don't want to take a break, please take a break, take care of yourself because it'll always be there waiting for you once you're done with your break. 
Finally, number six, what I want to end on is the fact that video games taught me it's okay to have a stress relief because sometimes you just want to blow shit up or you want to slay some zombies. When it comes to writing and what I was talking about with that feeling that like rage quit that you just want to do, it's totally fine and I find it's very therapeutic for myself too. That's when I will take a break and then I will hop on and play some video games because it's just nice to take a break. It's nice to be able to step away from like the work aspect when it comes to writing and to go do something else that is just being able to just relax in a way. And I know it sounds really funny hearing that like I slay zombies and to relax, but it totally helps me. So maybe you're like an avid gamer and you're just getting really frustrated because you can't get past this next mission or this next objective. It's totally fine to like go do something else. Maybe you should just try journaling that experience because having those different things, those different outlets to have stress relief is so important for your mental health. It also helps you with whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish because again, you're taking that break, you're not rage quitting, but you're also seeking a means of stress relief. So I know that I personally don't have as much time with video games as I used to because, you know, with writing and being a mom and working and everything else in my life. Yeah, I wish I could just have my weekends where that's all I do, but that's not possible. So right now I just try to squeeze in what I can and I just really am under the belief that video games are wonderful and I don't intend on stopping playing them and I just can't wait for all the other games that are coming out soon. So there you have it. Now you know exactly all that video games have taught me about writing. If you are a gamer and also a writer, go ahead and tell me in the comment section down below. If you're just a gamer and you're out there playing a game, let me know what you guys are playing because I would love to get a chance to kind of know what you're up to and then also maybe we could play together. So definitely drop a link down below to all of your contact info. And if this is your first time here, I just want to say thanks so much for checking out my channel. I post my writerly videos on Fridays. So you can come and hang out with me on Fridays and learn more about my writing nerd life. And until next video, guys, bye.